live election night special. This election season has been stressful, to say the least, so thank heaven for the people who helped us laugh through it. Some of them have even been comedians. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, he just, Hillary just won Virginia, I'm just saying. <laughs> syndicated radio show host D.L. Hughley. Hey, so, so D.L., I know that you're a huge, a huge Hillary supporter. Yeah, so how are you feeling right now? Well, I, I think that it was always going to be close. I think that America, we know now that uh, grabbing a vagina is not as bad as having one to some people. <laughs> I, I, really I literally do. I think that people have, I think that people say one thing out loud and do another thing. It, like yeah. uh, you, 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 this mm -hmm. is this is Facebook. This is you know how people pretend to be all cool and then you read yeah. their stuff. Yeah. This is us reading America's emails out loud because uh -huh. because ultimately um, and and people are talking about leaving. My daddy survived Jim Crow. I can survive Donald Trump. Right. You know I mean, mm -hmm. I think, I think only only in America would your qualification for being having the the, the biggest uh, office in the world be not being qualified. Like we yelp everything. We yelp restaurants. You go to, you know, Angie's list for everything, but not for president. Like I you love would, Angie. Yeah. You would never walk into a dentist office and go, have you never done this before? That's the one I want. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I think people are angry, and I think that what we're saying is that angry people in rural areas have uh, have a voice and they look different and, and we'll see. But I think ultimately well, so far he hasn't done she he, she hasn't well, lost anywhere that she, she was. Just she just won well, Colorado. So. <laughs> are showing uh, uh, this is very different from what the, we expected from well because the people say one thing and do another I think ultimately I think that people will well you know people knew that how, how he's perceived and would say one thing I, to me I, I would prefer a country where you know what everybody thinks and now now we're getting to see it and I think there is no such place no what well, yeah, well, it is today <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think I think when you see people's attitudes and the way they feel like you 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 uh, you'll watch a man say and do some of the most heinous things ever, and the only time any some of the establishment got mad is when he talked about the word when when he said the p word, yeah. which was actually the only thing he, word he ever said I liked. So uh, it was uh, <laughs> <laughs> only, only time I don't like the p word is when it got no in front of it. That ain't fun. Yeah. But, but I I think ultimately we are we are a country that like like. This will be, if, if he wins, it'll be the, more like the America my father knew instead of the one I hoped my children did. But, but I well, think... Well, you can't really turn this, the clock back alone. This, well, he's not alone, if you can see by the well, picture. Yeah, 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 no, but we still have checks and balances in this country. I want to ask you, though, about the African-American sure. vote, because that... Yeah, because I'll ask vote... for all you guys. Sit back, I no. got it. <laughs> all you black people, listen to me. <laughs> were so pivotal in getting President Obama elected twice. They came out, they supported him, and for some sure. reason, the early voting numbers with respect to Hillary Clinton and African Amer Americans were lagging behind. That, Why that's is not, that? That's not. That's very understandable. We, we, it Why, was historical. Though? It was historic. Mm -hmm. We were afraid that we would be cheated, so we got there early, and we were we wanted to make history. First time we were trying to make history. Second time we were trying to make sure we were motivated to make sure he did well. Uh, and I think that there, our motivations are different. I think that you'll see that that uh, the story initially was that the black vote was diminished and then it didn't, it, it, it picked up in the end. But ultimately, Barack Obama was symbolic to us and we wanted, I, oh, let me speak for me. I, I'll leave you guys out there on your own. But uh, <laughs> I think a lot of people felt uh, connected to it and they wanted to make history and they wanted to make sure that they, in the event that something went wrong, because we always <laughs> anticipate something will, that we wanted to get there early so that we couldn't be uh, cheated. And I think that, that our motivations were different. But for me, I, I think, I, I, I'm stunned at how comfortable we are with a lot of isms, racism, sexism. Mm -hmm. Like, as, it, 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 it makes it makes me it makes me pointed. No, no, it makes me sad for the the daughters that I like. I, I raise my daughters mm -hmm. to to compete with anyone. Now, I I, I, can, I can tell you that I I've been a show I am a chauvinist. Like I believe. That, but that's different than the misogynist. I believe that you should be able, a woman should run the country. She should be able to run corporations. Just how this casserole gonna warm itself? That's why I stop it. Oh. I don't, I don't, but, yeah. I, but I think when you look at it, people who <laughs> will allow one thing, like you'll allow somebody to try out somebody's mistresses and say the, it's just, it's a, it's, a, it's a horrible thing when you realize that people are kind of locked in people's mind 
based on their gender, and that's very sad to me. Well, no matter which way the election goes, President Obama's eight years in office is coming to an mm -hmm. end. So what are you going to miss most about him? How, how, how level-headed he was. It'll be the mm -hmm. first, like, literally. exemplary it was. It'll be the first time a black man moves out of the house and white people move in and the neighborhood goes down. That'd be the first time. What will he be remembered for? Well, if, 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 it, if it, I think ultimately history writes itself, but this president, you got to, what, what, the, the first time wages have gone up in over 30 years. Uh, unemployment under 4.9%. Uh, he he's has the highest approval rating of any two term president in history. Um, so, uh, yes, he's a terrorist. That says it right there, right? That says, like, <laughs> I think his legacy should be that he, he gets, uh, you know, a third term in, to some degree. So we'll see what it is. But I. I just am, uh, I think that America's gonna have a great deal uh, to be remorseful about when they see how elegant and diplomatic and mature and statesmanlike he was. Yes. And, and, and it'll, it'll be a shame. Absolutely. Be a shame. Thank you so much, TL, for coming by. Good luck to all of us. We'll be right back.